All right, everybody. Hopefully the sound quality is a lot better on this one. If you would, guys, let me know, because I've got my little microphone here. So I'm testing it out and seeing how well that it works. Um, it's early, early, about 4 a.m., but every time I keep trying to make this video, it winds up going, <clears throat> or I have a thousand and one things happen, or quite frankly, I just fall asleep because that's what happens when you start everything after like a, you know, your usual nine to five job, even when it's work from home, you kind of go <clears throat> and go to sleep. Um, I've been doing a lot of like you nows lately, more in the evening. That's part of where I've been. Um, other cases, I'm just trying to figure out a good topic. Um, I had a topic, and that went kind of south, but whatever. Anyway, moving along. The reason that the, for, this, for this particular video is just to let you know that I plan to do another video sometime here soon, within the next couple of days. <coughs> um, actually, let me pull this up to my next screen here. Okay, so the deadline for this is going to be on the 22nd of March 2017 because that evening is when I'm going to be doing a live stream. And in this live stream, I will be giving away three copies on Steam, or three Steam copies, and it's going to be of Van Helsing, not the movie, the game, the Steam game. Now keep in mind, I believe this is, I don't know if this is Mac supported. I believe that this is Windows PC, not tablet. So keep that in mind for anybody making entries in this. And that will go to azarelofwindia at gmail.com. All entries will be. And basically all I really need is going to be the following, which is your Steam ID, just the name so that I can send something there in the event that you win. Um, what else? Oh yes, um, basically, in the, since this has all been, um, all this talk lately has been on a lot of supernatural or paranormal stuff in the you now, I'd like you to tell me all about your favorite creepy thing. As in, supernatural, not that creepy person you ran into on the bus last Friday. Come on, guys. Um, so it could be something from myth or le myths and legends, from your favorite storybook, from your favorite movie. Tell me what kind of monster really gives you the creeps and kind of keeps you awake at night. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to tell me all about it in your Gmail and, and send me and send me a uh, Gmail and that will be your entry. One entry per person. Sorry guys. If you have more than one monster, you can bring about them. You can. Um, if you have more than one monster, you can go ahead and list all of your favorites. That's perfectly fine, because basically what's going to happen is um, on that day, I'm going to start talking about some of the more interesting ones. And um, on the 22nd of March, March 22nd, which is a Wednesday, I'm going to do a live stream. We're going to be talking about, you know, different creepies and stuff like that. And I'm going to be reading off some of people's... Uh, some of the monsters y'all be interested in. And then we're going to have this giveaway. So three lucky winners are going to win this. And what's going to happen is I'm going to send the gift into their Steam their Steam inventory. So I'm going to wind up adding that person as a friend. If you want to unfriend me afterwards, hey, that's cool. I'm not going to bite your head off for it. Just want to make sure that I get you your game. Um, still trying to work things out with uh, Shepard1245, who had won his copy of Let's Stay to Die. Um, I'm not sure if he has a tablet or anything like he has a tablet. I'm not sure if he has a Steam account for like PC, which does not support Let's Stay to Die. And basically, in the event that that's if that's the case, what I'm going to wind up doing is just looking and seeing. Okay, can I find a decently priced game that he likes that is tablet supported? If that's the case, then I'll be more than happy to work with him there just to make sure that he gets something, and then. If I get that sorted out by the 22nd, then I will have an additional drawing for that extra let's stay to die or seven days to die uh, copy that I have in my inventory. So basically everybody wins. <laughs> 
even if he even if it winds out turning out one way that way we can make sure that everybody gets their uh copy and what have you all right um speaking of which more often than not i do try to review the games that i check out i actually wound up getting the entire series of the van helsing games it uh so to give you a little bit of a review to let you know what you will be getting into is if you're ever familiar with the with the with the series of games called diablo um this is like a, a throwback to a diablo game in a way it's not quite as grim dark in its setting so the atmosphere is not like super heavy but everything does match pretty well um you have Van Helsing, who is your main protagonist, and he is basically, he's not the Van Helsing, he's actually his son. And he has in tow with him a companion named Katarina. Katarina. And she is a ghost. And she can fight by your side. Not only that, but as you level up in the game, so does she. You can develop skills for her, you can equip her with stuff. So it's like all the things that Diablo 2 did right, and then some. Um, same with uh, Van Helsing. He can level up, he can skill up in like three different trees. Um, these, the DLC is included, I believe, in the packs that I got for the giveaway, which includes the Thaumaturge, which is basically a magic user. That's the class that I started playing with out the gate, because I love to see how they work their magic. And... I'm actually pretty impressed. I've had a lot of fun uh, playing. Um, I definitely recommend some of the ice spells, and I'm not usually an ice mage, but that ice spell is pretty, pretty nice. It comes in handy. Some of the games, some of those enemies cheat like a son of a gun, especially bazooka launchers. But uh, anyway, music is great. Graphics are about what you would expect for like a, a Diablo like. Um, playability is pretty smooth. I've had no problems with mouse or controller base, um, even using the keyboard. I use I use mouse and keyboard for it, and it plays really well. Side quests. There is an Excalibur that you can find, and it has certain qualifications. As you meet certain qualifications, it gets stronger. And the side quest that actually gets this started is pretty funny. It involves a wishing well and uh, weapon oil and then a chance find of this sword in the stone and the dynamic this is even better because uh, as far as the characters go that ghost is not just window dressing now her and van helsing as the story goes along they regularly chat with each other and they rib on each other like nobody's business they heckle each other something fierce it's like almost like an old married couple but like sitcom style so it's actually kind of cute there are a lot of tongue and cheek references, a lot of pop, pop culture references, and I'm very impressed with the way that they handle the dynamic between these two, because in terms of character development, it's handled very well. It is. The only thing that I thought that it could have been handled better, and this isn't really much of a spoiler, in the beginning you'll see a map and it's kind of going through and it's you see different things marked and there's talking to you about Katarina and stuff. It would have been more interesting, I think, if it would have started out you solo and then you meet Katarina and all this stuff develops and it kind of incorporates into the game. I don't know that they'll add that as DLC later simply because the game's now moved into its third incarnation so that's a thing. Um, I'm not, But as far as a first incarnation goes I, it makes me actually look forward to playing the other two because this is very well handled. Um, magic find, item find, uh, you find essences, you don't really socket things so much, but you will find um, items and gear that has essence. And the essence can be used to attach essences to, and these give your weapon boost depending on if it's a weapon, armor, or accessory. You can also kind of look and see what it's going to look like so you don't accidentally put something on there thinking it's an accessory and it turns out to be armor or vice versa. In addition, you can combine essences to make some more interesting stuff. You can experiment around, uh, experiment around a little bit. It's the it's kind of like their version of a crafting system, I guess, in a way. And if there is some piece of a piece of gear that does not have essence attached to it, there are a few rare items that can add it on there. 
which is how I got like plus 40% item fine on that. It's one of those, you don't really know like exactly what to expect going into it, but I easily clocked a few hours of gameplay. I was playing it yesterday actually, just to kind of give it a test run and see what I would be putting you guys in for. And uh, it, you find yourself actually playing for, for quite a little bit. It's, I'm very impressed. Um, not really anything to worry about so far. I know that some of the some of the enemies can cheat like a boss. Watch out for the ones with the explosives and the flamethrowers because oh my goodness. <laughs> Boom, dead. Well, I'm glad I didn't start hardcore. Then I get back dead. Okay, really? <laughs> There can be there can be some some uh, difficulty leaps, but it's nothing too terrible. I've noticed the game doesn't hold your hand, but it doesn't brutalize you either. There are some swarms of enemies, but with the right combination or usage of skills, you can deal with them pretty well. Uh, there are three cl main class types you can choose. Um, I believe Katarina is considered a hunter class regardless, so the only items she can equip are hunter gear. But um, in addition to that, you can you yourself can choose Thaumat uh, Hunter class, which is the main. You can use um, blades. You can use guns. Then there's um, Thaumaturge, the one that I'm messing with, which is mages. You don't really have weapons per se, but he has these like armbands and stuff that are imbued with energy, and you cast spells. And sometimes you can kind of sort of combo them. Uh, in addition, you have a rage meter, even as a mage, that adds abilities to your spells. Which I think is a personally a very neat twist. It's very well done. So you'll be casting a frost spell, you'll add a rage power up to it, and then the next thing you know, you have like extra blast, something may freeze something temporarily, and again, very well done. And the third one, which I haven't got a chance to tinker with, is like kind of like an arcane arbalest basically um a gunner type a gunner slash tinker so they have a little uh, tinker things that they mess around with i don't know too much about this one yet because i haven't really messed around with it yet i was having too much fun playing the crazy ma mage uh freezing people and then blasting them to pieces and once you get that up a little bit you'll see them they'll like they'll frost over and then they'll go and you're like yes sub-zero eat your heart out and then you get two extra spikes so then it just kind of goes out like a fan and just a whole bunch of them just freeze and you're like yes and then you get hit by one little cluster bomb and die and you're like frick but i am definitely enjoying it um i've enjoyed all the little challenges i've enjoyed that and i think you guys will too so once again ground rules uh gmail is linked in the description you'll want to send it there just let me know what your favorite monster is. Storybook monster can be a creepy pasta. Can be, um, oh, what is it from an, an SCP from the SCP wiki? God, I love those. Um, it could be a horror movie. It could be something that you have personally come up with yourself, which is even better. I that would be awesome. By all means, tell me all about your favorite little creepy ones. Um, and then of course your steam name so that i can send you something in the event that you've won again please make sure that it is actually that the game can run on your system make sure you have enough space make sure that it is not for like a mac product or a tablet because it only works on the pc brand i am trying to work out ideas for giveaways i know people are are really weird or finicky about people sending things to their uh, mailing addresses which is why I haven't done one of those mailing giveaways yet but um, if you have any ideas for that that seems sensible or you know a way that I can basically get something to someone without having to worry about the mailing issue then by all means drop a uh, drop a comment below and of course if you like and if, if you like what you see like and subscribe more is coming um, I'll probably I may do some more let's plays and all that good stuff um, still trying to figure out kind of stuff that I'm going to put on the channel, which is why I keep gauging people to see kind of, okay, what do you like? What do you want to see? What can I do? Um, now that I, it took me about an hour to get this silly thing working, so I'm not really sure about the singing setup yet, but I know there's been a lot of requests for that, so I'm considering it, guys. I really am.
and I thank you guys for all of your gracious uh, feedback. Oh, speaking of feedback, let me know if this sound quality works out a lot better and a lot clearer than the other videos where I've been speaking onto a camera because that was from my microphone on my laptop. This is from the microphone on this. So I'm basically cutting out any kind of external so that I can kind of see which setup is a little bit better. I'm trying to kind of work things out to where I have a clear quality and such. So uh, yeah, just give me some feedback. Let me know if this sound is, is a lot better than the ones that you've heard in the past, a lot clearer. Um, trying to get the hang of this, I really am. I don't know anything about editing or anything like that. So uh, bear with me, bear with me. I am trying to learn <laughs> baby steps. Um, but, uh, and again, when it comes to that contest, your deadline is March 22nd. So you got the entire week, guys. You got an entire week. Show me what you got. Tell me, tell me all about these creatures you like, or even creatures you've come up with yourself. That's perfectly fine. They remain your property, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to take your ideas. If you want me to Pathfinder stat them, I may do that in the future, but it's all good. That may actually be a giveaway. That would be an interesting giveaway. Well, whatever. We'll think about that then. All right, guys. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if that game's got you interested, just leave a like. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I look forward just to reading about your entries in my Gmail and reading them out to everybody else in on the 22nd. So good luck. Uh, congratulations in advance to those three of you that win. And... Uh, have a wonderful day.